Hey traders, it's Jeremy Alexander Newsom with a quick video on interactive brokers. I had a question from a trader named George who wanted to know how to place an OCO order on a trade that has already been created. What that means is you're already in a position. So an example, right? In three positions here on this particular account, uh, sorry, four, uh, got calls on Fastly, calls on Zoom, calls on BNGO and just shares of ALXO, uh, only 40. So what we do is if you want to create an OCO order on a position that you're already in, all you have to do is go to your portfolio and simply click on that position. So let's say for example, BNGO, I wanna have a stop loss at a dollar and a target at 20. So I would come over here and click on sell and I click on my position, right? And then again, this would be where you get to determine which one you're filling in first. So let's just say as an example, I wanna sell these options at 20. I wanna do good till cancel. And I come in here and click on advanced. Once I click on advanced, I would simply go to one cancel another. Click on that. You'll notice sell is already here. Contract, everything is there. So this would be the call, you just select the call. Obviously if it shares, then you would select the shares and this would become a stop order, right? So there's stop, quantity, 10, stop price. I said a dollar, I don't know, let's, let's make it three. All right, so $3, okay, fine, 292. <laughs> and uh, I would also make this good to cancel, and that's really it. Uh, so if I submit this particular order, here we go. So submit, you can see there's the risk, and boom, there it is. And in the order functionality, you'll be able to see this is the limit for the call for a profit and this is the stop loss on the contract again obviously it works with shares the exact same way if i want to do that on alxo as an example want to sell my 40 my 40 shares on this one and i want to sell those at 105 and good till cancel and uh if I want, um, let's see if I can fill that outside of trading hours. I'll click on advanced, right? One cancels another. So just wanna have a trade that I'm already in. And this would be, again, just the shares, right? LXO, uh, this would be a stop. And if I want to get out of those 40 positions at, I don't know, let's say 70, okay? Uh, I would do, again, good to cancel on this one. I would click submit. I would set override and transmit and poof. There we go. So now I have a OCO order on a position that I'm already in on both an option contract and shares. That easy, that simple, that fast using Interactive Brokers. I hope this helps. If you are interested in using Interactive Brokers, it's a platform for global traders anywhere in the world. You can access this particular platform. It's amazing, it's easy, it's simple, it's fast, it's very inexpensive and it's quite efficient. There's a link in the description box to click on it if you do not use Interactive Brokers, if you wanna check it out. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching this tutorial. You rock, and until next time, love life, love life, and trade it, bye.